What's better for you, the direct-to-consumer 529 college savings plan or the advisor sold 529 college savings plan? And the answer, like so many other answers to complex questions is, it depends. Let me explain. Hey there, I'm Mitch Goldberg. I'm a financial advisor and a business owner. This video, like all my videos, are about financial education. And I want to talk to you about a choice that you have to make when uh, opening a 529 college savings plan for your child, your future college graduate. So first of all, congratulations on taking this very valuable and important step uh, and, and on being such a wonderful parent. So let's just start with that. So what's better? the direct-to-consumer 529 plan or the advisor-to-consumer 529 plan. It really depends on your needs. There are about 90 529 plans uh, between the 50 different states. Uh, they're not all the same, um, but I think for most people, the, the um, differences are few enough that what you really have to choose on are a couple of things. Uh, you would look at the expenses of the 529 college savings plan and in a generic mutual funds type of plan, expenses are probably to me one of the key determining factors. But it's not the only factor and there are advisor sold plans whose expenses are also quite low. Um, I know in, in the state that I live in, in the state of New York, there's the Vanguard plan and there's the uh, JP Morgan plan, okay? And they're both excellent plans. So I often advise clients uh, if, you know, if you're totally self-directed and you really just want to do this on your own, then by all means, go with the um, direct-to-consumer plan. No problem. But if you want your financial advisors uh, help along the way in a number of things and you have a number of questions to ask, like for uh, which investments to choose, uh, how to take the money out, certain things like that, uh, and you just want the hand-holding over the many years that you're going to be investing in that in the 529 college savings plan, uh, and you want that piece of security or that, that security blanket, then the advisor sold product would make sense for you. But in many cases, the, um, the gap between the direct-to-consumer and the advisor-to-consumer plans, the gaps have really shrunk a lot over the years. In fact, the whole, the whole industry of 529 plans and mutual funds and exchange-traded funds in general um, have seen expenses get very compressed over the years. So regardless of which one you pick, um, you have to be confident that you're getting the best deal with the best services all included. It's not just a matter of an expense ratio, it's also a matter of uh, being in the one that's best for you. Really depends, but you have really good choices through both avenues. And for me, again, what I advise my clients to do is after some intake, some back and forth questions, I advise them on one or the other. It has to be one or the other. And I give them the pros and cons of each one, but ultimately it's their decision and whichever way they go, I'm happy for them that they're taking this very important step towards saving for their child's college education. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, and until next time, thank you so much for watching.